Our today's topic is sales journal or sales book. Here we will record all the sales related transition. We are here Shilpa, our business and here we will record all our customers name here one by one okay so we are selling goods to the customer okay so you often see this question on your exam but many of you make mistake so today for your better understanding i've taken a question from igcs accounting plus paper i'll show you here step by step how to prepare this account okay so here on the question we see Shilpa is a trader. The following transitions took place in January 2021. Here we see many transitions, but these all transitions are not related to these accounts. Okay, here we have some cash book related transitions. Our next tutorial, I'll show you how to prepare cash book from the same transitions. Okay, so here only three transitions are related here in january 6 we see sold goods and credit to credit okay this will be appeared here then here january 20 sold goods on credit okay and january 26 sold goods and credit to years okay these three transitions are relevant okay here other sales related transitions are given okay but these are not relevant why here you see January 9 sold surplus office fittings for $110 which was paid by credit transfer okay here what is sold fittings yeah it is an asset okay asset sales this transition is not related to this sales book okay sales book means here we will record only goods sold on credit okay these transitions will be appeared not furnitures not other things okay so many of you record asset related transitions here in the sales journal but here only goods sold related transitions will be recorded okay great here our first transition is sold goods on credit to credit list price is $200 subject to a trade discount of 20% okay it is January 6 okay so sold goods to Kabir here we see trade discount okay we have to record trade discount here you know trade discount does not appear on the cash book but it appears here on the sales journal okay great here you see the format date detail and two dollar columns here just to facilitate our calculation if you want you can make one dollar column as well okay it is okay so here we will write the date first 2021 january 6 okay so here our customer is kabir yeah so we will write here kabir okay so we sold goods for two hundred dollars yeah so but there is a discount trade discount it is twenty percent right so two hundred dollar this is the list price okay on this list price we offer twenty percent discount okay so what will be the discount amount here now it is forty dollars right so how much covid is supposed to pay so here he will pay two hundred minus forty equal to one hundred sixty dollars okay so here on the first column first of all we will write the list price first dollar column then we will write the discount okay we will write here minus trade discount so we calculated trade discount here forty dollar yeah so we will write here 40 and we will minus this amount and here net selling price is 160 dollars okay so first transition is done next we have here january 20 sold goods on credit to pay it is 150 dollar there is no trade discount okay so here what to do First of all, we will write the date. So here our date is January 20, okay? 
we will write the customer name here what is our customer here it is pari we will write here pari okay so here on this transition there is no trade discount okay so we will write this amount directly to the outer column okay so here we will write the selling price 150 dollars okay great so our last transition is here january 26 sold goods on credit to yash 62 dollars offering him a discount of five percent if he paid within 21 days so here our customer is yash here we have discount as well okay so first of all we will write the date january 26 we will write here the customer name yash okay so here the list price means the selling price is 62 dollar okay if yash pays this amount within 21 days then this transition will appear on the cash book so here it is not a uh, trade discount related transitions so don't be confused this transition is actually confusing but if you understand you will not make mistake in your exam okay so here we will write the amount 62 dollar on the last column okay so as i told you these three transitions are related to the sales journal but we have many transitions on the cash book great now what you do what is the next step we have to sum up these three amounts okay so before we sum up we will see what is our requirement on the question okay so here we see prepare the shilpa sales journal for for january 2021 total the journal and indicate the leisure account to which the total would be posted okay so we need to indicate the account name okay where the totals will go okay so here first of all we will get the total so we get here 372 dollars okay this is the total credit sales okay these sales will go to the now sales account okay so when business prepare sales ledger then this will go to this ledger account okay so we will write here transfer to sales account okay so we wrote here sales account not sales journal okay be careful this is our sales journal book but here this total of sales journal book we will transfer to sales account okay so here sales account is a ledger okay the totals of sales account will appear in the income statement okay as a revenue so what date will be here the last of the month okay here we are doing for january and last day will be here january 31st okay so finished this is how you need to prepare sales journal so next tutorial will be also important for you because there i'll show you how to prepare a cash book okay we see here many transitions we take only three transitions for sales journal and others will appear in the cash book